Alrighty, Haas says, welcome back. And in this video, we're finally gonna get started using keywords. And remember, a keyword, whenever I use that term, it's basically whatever a user searches for. So, programming videos, it could be multiple words, it could just be one word. It's basically their search query. Now, I say this because what Google does is whenever someone types in a search query, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go through its database and it's eventually going to get to your website and it's going to look at all of the data it has for your website and it's going to say okay was this term programming videos used a lot on their website if the word programming videos is right here and right here and i'm just using it all over the place then it's going to say you know what the new boston.com is probably related to programming videos so that is what is going to appear in the search results right here so we know that in order to get one of your web pages to appear in the search results, then you need to use these keywords on your website. But now the next question is, where do you stick them? Do you stick them in your navigation menu, uh, the headers, the text, um, maybe the title right here? Where do they go? Well, let's start out pretending that you created a website for like you don't even have it created yet now i know a lot of you guys are probably watching these videos wanting to improve your rankings with an existing website but for right now let's just say that you have to buy a domain name still so let's say you're making a website in whenever someone types in monkey videos you want this website that you're making to appear is the number one search result so this is what i would recommend let me go to this so whenever you buy your domain name, it's always a good idea to include these keywords right in the domain name. So for example, uh, let's say monkeyvideos.com, whenever someone typed in monkey videos, this would have an incredible advantage over, you know, funnyanimalvideos.com. So if you had two websites which were identical, one named monkeyvideos.com and one named funnyanimalvideos.com, whenever someone typed in monkey videos, monkeyvideos.com would appear first. So again, like I said, I know a lot of you guys already have a domain name, so you can't really change it. And it really isn't that important if you have an existing domain name, but there you go. Another thing I wanna point out is URL structure. So if you do have an existing website or domain name, then one thing that you can do is include those keywords in your URL. Now, I'll show you guys an example of my website right here. So this is pretty much a bad example. So in order to view my profile, you have to go to this link, profile.php, user equals two. Now, Google's gonna look at this and say user equals two, probably like 10 million people on the internet have user equals two. So whenever someone types in Bucky Roberts, it's gonna have a difficult time knowing that this link right here is related to my profile. So a better URL that you could actually use is instead of uh, profile whatever with an ID number, if you are Bucky Roberts or something like this, then this is gonna help out Google a lot because it's gonna look at this and if someone types in Bucky Roberts profile, it's gonna say, oh, you know what? His name is right in the stinking URL. This definitely is related to this page. So again, whenever I was developing my website a long time ago, I didn't really think about this stuff. I just wanted to make sure it worked. But if you are ever making a social network or any website really, make sure to include the keywords, keywords lol, in the URL. And you can actually probably see Let's say like a buy, uh, what other, buy panther chameleon. All right, so whenever you look at search results, you see that we typed in buy panther chameleon. I don't even know what that is, a type of chameleon or something. You can see that it actually highlights the keywords whenever they appear in the URL. So this is pretty much Google telling you, hey, the reason that we're showing you this result is first of all, we found the search term on their webpage right here, and also those keywords were in the URL. So we know that this is a ranking factor because, you know, even though we don't know Google's formula, it's pretty much just slapping it in our face saying, dude, we're like bolding the words that are important right here. So, hey, this is how it works. 
So there you go. And another thing I want to point out is this. Let me refresh this page. All right. So it's not only the keywords that appear, but also the closer they are to your home directory. So this is my home directory right here without anything after it. Now, let's say that I wanted to make a profile page for all my users. Well, a good idea would be to make a URL like this right after Bucky Roberts. A little worse idea would to be something like this, user profile page Bucky Roberts. And the reason that this isn't a great idea is because this is four directories deep. Now the further away you get from your home directory, it pretty much means that this is less important. Of course, we know this because the home page is the most important page on your website. Anything you can click from this is the second most important. Anything you go deeper and deeper into is less and less important. And it actually works the same for your computer. I mean, on your desktop, which is pretty much the home page for your computer, you have all these files. Now, if someone were just to go delete all the files on your desktop, it would suck. Those are your most important ones. However, once you start going into here and being, okay, so these are kind of important, I guess. What about something like Ava, Al, Production? I don't even know what's in here. Guys, all of these files that are like five directories deep, these obviously aren't important. People can probably delete this and I won't even know for like 10 years. So there you go. The importance of using keywords in your URL. That's kind of hard to say. Keywords in your URL. In your URL. Dun, dun. All right, anyways. What did we learn? Well, we learned that if you can buy a domain name, if you're just setting up a website for the very first time, then it's a really good idea to include these keywords in your domain name. Now, another thing is if you can't, then try to include them in your URL structure, such as Bucky Roberts instead of someone's ID number. And another thing is make sure that those keywords appear in your, your URL closer to the parent directory, the closer, the better. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Still got a lot of stuff to cover, but for now, that's all. So see you next time.